Hello guys and welcome back. In this lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how you can create and manage new styles. So first of all, we need to learn what a style basically is. So you can see on your ribbon on the home tab over here that there is this font or you can also call style. And these are all the styles that you can use for your document. So for example, let's open up one of these documents let's open up a sample document from here and once it is opened up you can change the font or the style of the text written in this document it is very simple you just need to highlight it or select all of this text go to the fonts in the home tab on your ribbon and then choose whatever you like so let's choose Arial for now and you notice that the font has been changed or the style has also been changed. Similarly, there are one more type of fonts present in Word 2016. So the other type of fonts that you can use is the styles we can also call. So basically this was the fonts and this is the style of your text. For example, if I use this style, you may notice that a change has occurred over here. Similarly, if I choose this style, this all text becomes a heading. If I go over here, it becomes a heading 2. This becomes a title now, and now a subtitle, and so on. And you can browse more fonts over here by clicking this arrow button right over here. So the next thing that we're going to do is press this styles button right over here on the bottom of the styles tab. Press this and it will open up all the styles you can see over here. So we have a normal style. We have a style with no spacing. You can make this a heading, a heading to title, subtitle, subtitle, subtle emphasis emphasis intense emphasis and so on so there are many styles present over here now how can you manage and create a new style so you need to simply click over here on this button which says manage styles and once you click this it, it will open up a new dialog box in front of you and you can see that we first have the sort order and the sort order means that you can sort it as a font you can sort it as it is based on or you can sort it as alphabetical and so on. Similarly, we can create a new style by pressing this button right over here. So if I click new style, it will open me up a new dialog box which says create new style form formatting. So I can name the style anything I want. For example, let's go with Claydesk style. Then you can select the style type as well. It can be paragraph, it can be character, it can be linked style or even a list. So we'll go with the paragraph right now. And then we will choose style based on. So the style is currently based on no spacing. We can also, which is the normal text. We can also choose the heading one it can be our heading 2 as well. It can be a subtitle style as well, intense code or a code as well. So let's go with the code for now and rename it to Claydesk code. Let's fix this over here. Great. Now I can also choose the formatting from over here. I have choose the style from over here and I have chose it to be a code and the font for this code will be let's say Sigua UI Lite. So I choose this font for my code, Claris code. Then I can also check this box add styles to the gallery which will add it right over here and automatically update it. So I'll leave these both unchecked and the next two options 
are only in this document and new documents based on this template so this means that you want the style only in this document or you also want the same style in new documents that are based on this word template word document so once you're done with this you can also choose the color of this so let's say the color will be blue and it will be bold and I also want it underlined as well so once you're done with this simply click OK and this has successfully ad been added to your style gallery you just need to click OK over here and once you click OK you notice that Claytus code has been added to your styles tab over here and you can choose this Claytus code and notice that this has been changed to a code it is now bold and is also in italic and is also underlined so this is how you can easily create and manage new styles this is a very simple and proficient way in word 2016 so i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned and let's move to our next lesson